Um, so uh, daily youth, uh, a usual daily uh, youth work day for me looks like uh, waking up in the morning and around nine o'clock opening uh, laptop and the first thing to do is always check the the emails and what has been uh, going on because a lot of what we do requires a lot of communication uh, to prepare for, for the activities uh, that we do to support our uh, young people to uh, organize their own uh, activities to communicate and cooperate with our local partners and our European partners uh, for the projects that we are going to be uh, organizing. Uh, then it's a lot about um, after emails, it's also about uh, uh, visibility. Uh, I'm one of the persons also within our organization and within my uh, practice with digital youth work that I use a lot of social media, so I'm responsible for our visibility matters. So checking what type of posts we can make and uh, uh, checking with my colleagues also how we can attract uh, our, our young people, uh, uh, more young people in our uh, activities. So uh, also doing what I'm doing, it's it's also a lot of, uh, of, of social media and, and, and posting. Then it's other administrative aspects when we have projects to to organize because I work a lot with Erasmus Plus and European Solidarity Corps uh, projects. So... Um, when uh, it's one of those days when we have to communicate about uh, logistical aspect and organizational aspects about uh, the upcoming Erasmus Plus project or the Solidarity project and how we can support our uh, our young volunteers who are uh, running this this project um, and use also the the Telegram chat and the Facebook group uh, that we have. Uh, within the day, we are also part of, of different networks uh, and I'm part of different networks. So our aim is to communicate of all the mobility opportunities to our youngsters. So we will uh, share this post also in, in our Facebook group. So like opportunities from Eurodesk or our own uh, net network when it's like European volunteering projects where they can go or youth exchanges or or other trainings also within the local um, national uh, youth network here there is a lot going on so we will be sharing also these opportunities then around midday and afternoon it's time for uh, meetings there is uh, a, a lot of online meetings or meetings in, in in person, when when we can meet, online meetings are usually also with uh, our European partners or new partners that they want to collaborate with us. And it's important for us to and for, and for me to create uh, a sustainable uh, and uh, smooth cooperation. So like build an, an understanding and mutual clarification on how we work, how they work and how what we can combine and do together. Um, also... Uh, a daily uh, youth work day can also look having a volunteers meet up. Uh, our target group, our local young people that I work with currently, mainly are uh, like the ones who are uh, in school in the mornings. They are in school. The ones who are not in school, they are at their jobs. So then usually we can meet in the afternoons and have this check-in moment so that we check how is everybody doing and what is going on. Are they having questions? What are their needs? And this is also in terms of uh, space. It has become an even more necessity now because of, of, of the pandemic. Uh, so having these tech meetings is very supportive. Um, and some other parts of the daily youth work include also writing projects and uh, preparing for the next activities and cooperating with our other uh, youth workers who are in Europe or here uh, locally in the country to organize more activities, what, what we can offer, sometimes creating these focus groups where we ac assess the, also within the second meetings, where we assess the needs of, of our group. And a lot of empowerment, a lot of motivation, inspirational uh, speeches, and a lot of uh, questions on the spot mentoring and using all my knowledge and competencies also as a coach and a mentor to be there for young people because one day we are... Uh, we're helping. I, I help them organize an activity, and we communicate, and so on. And in 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 this chat, it can also be, hey, I I, I just received hate speech from my parents, or, or from a, or from a, from from somebody outside. So, working with a target group, it requires a lot on the spot of emotional uh, support. Also, yeah, that would be the frame. Mm. 
in the morning i usually i start uh, to uh, to to social media to read some uh, topics uh, what happens now what jo journalists uh, are writing about uh then i uh, uh come to work to office and uh, uh do uh, some schedule for day for me uh that consists of different tasks that i need to do uh, by myself or need to address to uh, my colleagues uh, for example and uh, uh it it's uh, it takes uh, maybe one or two hours uh, in the uh, first part of the of my day and uh, after this i uh, usually i do uh, uh, something uh, with projects that i uh, coordinate in uh, uh, for example it's open space that i uh, talked about a minutes ago uh, i work with a team of organizers a team of uh, youth workers that uh, participate in this project and uh, youth that participate in this project uh, for example corporate university of uh, the, uh, the, the second project it's a corporate university of uh, youth work of novosibirsk region i'm a program uh, director of uh, the this uh, big uh, educational platform and uh, we uh, have a meetings uh, discussions uh, online meetings with the team of trainers team of organizers of this platform so we plan uh, programs we plan uh, how, how to start uh, different uh, tracks in this um, educational platform uh, etc so uh, uh, the rest of the day i have uh, usually i have meetings with the colleagues with these workers with youth that participate in uh, this uh, and, and and other projects uh, uh and um actually that's uh, <laughs> maybe i think that's all <laughs> but uh, uh meetings have a uh, different formats uh, sometimes it's focus groups sometimes just uh, working uh, working groups working me meetings sometimes it's uh, public speeches <laughs> yeah uh, sometimes it's uh, when i uh, I'm a trainee in different webinars maybe or training seminars so it's a different format that i uh, that I uh, use in my work and uh, that I participate in. Well, currently I'm not in a position of youth worker. Within the Institute for Youth Development, Kulta, I'm actually leading a small team for the youth policy and um, youth work development. So um, my daily job now is not directly connected with being in a youth club or a youth center. But I would say that every daily job in a youth work field, in a youth policy field, starts with a good planning. Um, and actually starts with um, act planning activities that you, you need to do and you want to do and that your beneficiaries um, need. Um, and then implementing, evaluating, thinking through and then bringing a new uh, series of, of whatever you are doing. As a youth worker, I would say that in a, in a daily life, you need to be very creative, very open minded, um, uh, very willing to, to listen to young people and to understand what's going on in the society, in the community where you work, understand um, the youth center, the youth club where you're working, um, being in a position to make a lot of networking on the local context, understanding what's going on in a, uh, national, regional, or whatever other uh, youth work contexts around you, uh, because this is the way you can support various of, of, of young people. I be yeah, there's uh, a lot of meetings and uh, and paperwork. That's the part what I didn't accept so much, but uh, it's of course it's important and uh, have to be there. We like uh, planning upcoming events or. Or activities with the co-workers or uh, um, another organ organizations that we do um, cooperation like a library or a, a university of applied sciences university another youth youth organizations we are co-working so we are having meetings and planning for the future of course that's the important thing and then we are preparing the upcoming activities like if we have groups or uh, competitions tournaments some kind of events we are uh, building them or we are 
we are making making some kind of uh, paperwork which is like a safety safety plans or something like that but uh, there's so many different kind of things what to do going to the shop getting getting groceries for the evening or something like that and then there's also of course the biggest part is the the working with the youngsters uh, face to face or online and that that's the most biggest part and the most funniest part because that's the thing what you cannot um, know exactly like every day is different from each other um, you don't really know that what is the mood among the youngsters uh, is everything okay have something happened to them and uh, so it's a lot of talking and a lot of laughing and uh, different kind of emotions to live with them and uh, it's the it's the biggest part not so much forest and I accept it to be and more paperwork but still really nice mm. just uh, as a youth worker you need to have a courage to mm, not succeed all the time like how is it uh, you have to have the courage to fail because if you don't fail then you don't learn anything and uh, by showing that also to the youngsters it's like uh, really I think it's really encouraging for them to see that also the adults and professionals they can fail and they don't uh, mind it so much it's it's many times enough that you just try your best and and uh, and learn from your mistakes. Okay, obviously we cannot be youth workers and be with young people all day every day because there's school, there is life, there is family and so on. So basically we are constricted to the whole point after school or during school breaks and so on. But I'm still a youth worker. So although I don't have youth work with at that moment, I still do youth work. And what is youth work? Is writing projects, is doing a lot of uh, work documents, uh, discussing with young people, having minds, seeing things and interacting with, uh, with videos, with uh, all the sources of knowledge that you can have. And then bringing back to the table the experience that you have and that the young people have. For instance, um, I divided my word, uh, my day in two parts, okay? Besides being with the young people. I do project management because we have a project in development. So that we need to take care of the partnerships. We need to take care of the documents, of the info packs, all this logistics that needs to be done. But I also d divide a part of my, of my day in relation to my own performance. So I, I search for trainings, MOOCs, on youth work on several topics. For instance, I'm really interested in citizenship, in youth participation, and anti-racism education. So I search for uh, trainings and reading material on this area so that I can bring something different uh, every, every project that we do, every interaction with young people. Because if you are going to do like a non-form education activity, you need to know what that non-form education activity should be. So you need to know the, the preparation, the, the learning that you want to do, the assessment, the evaluation, everything, all of this is very important. So you need a little prepar a lot of preparation in youth work. And but mostly, of course, youth work involves young people. So when we are, for instance, in school breaks or during the summer months, uh, the whole day is mostly dedicated to young people, either on youth exchange or in activities in our organization. And those activities can come from Uh, sportive activities, group activities, collective games in which they have to learn how to interact with, with one another, but also discussion, seminars and workshops on different areas according to their desires and their needs that they feel that they need to fulfill. But all those activities, and youth workers should be aware of this, they should be evaluated with young people. Because, for instance, for me, it's easy because... Um, As I said, I know them for a long time and I'm, I, I stay with them daily, at least a little bit. Uh, so I, I kind of know them better. I kind of know them well. 
But even then, I, I, after one activity, I talk with them and say, okay, so what did you feel about this? You need to have the, that openness and that confidence to, to also assess the activities with them.